I'm Hannah Baloli, and this is the HVAC Minute. Under a rule finalized by the Department of Energy in September, new non-weatherized gas-fueled residential furnaces will have to be at least 95% efficient, beginning in late 2028. ACA President Bart James has a problem with that. He says it doesn't account for the realities of differences in home construction, household budgets, and the weather in various parts of the country. Installing high-efficiency condensing furnaces can be expensive. Not only is the equipment more costly than other models, but it often requires modification to the home because of the need for sidewall venting. James said for some consumers, the math just doesn't pencil out. In addition, he said, the rule could leave traditional residential gas water heaters stranded because they still need to be vented vertically. Other critics have pointed out that some homes are constructed in ways that make sidewall venting difficult or even impossible. The Department of Energy estimates that the efficiency rule over 30 years will cut carbon emissions from furnaces, which contribute to global warming, by 332 million metric tons and will save consumers nearly 25 billion in energy costs. James, however, thinks the government should let the market decide. He said, It should be a consumer choice. I have no doubt that the contractor is going to lay high efficiency furnaces out as an option. He also made a pitch for increased HVAC installation standards and greater enforcement of mechanical codes as ways to save energy.